The 2022 Sasol Solar Challenge is back on the South African roads again, and will be traveling from Johannesburg down to the finish line in Cape Town from 9 to 16 September. Communities along the 2022 route including science and technology enthusiasts and scholars, can look forward to this electrifying endurance challenge, which is bringing nine solar car teams from South Africa, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Strategy and adventure are the key themes for this year's event as the teams will be challenging each other to rack up the most kilometers traveling an estimated distance of 2, 500 kilometers from the start line in Carnival City Casino to the finish line at the Vander Waterfront. The solar car Nuna 11s from Delft today won a race for cars that run on solar energy in South Africa. After 8 days, the Delft car had covered the greatest distance. With 4,223 kilometers on the clock, the Nuna 11s of the Delft Brunel Solar Team crossed the line near Cape Town this afternoon. The Belgian competitor, the Agoria Solar Team from Leuven, finished second with 38 kilometers difference. The teams from Delft and Leuven were engaged in an exciting neck and neck race all week. We started the last day with a lead of 10 kilometers. The Belgian team struggled with a technical defect, which allowed us to overrun, says spokesperson Lucas Franson of the Brunel Solar Team. Four members of the team took turns behind the wheel. In total, according to Franson, 32 people helped during the race, which started last Friday in Johannesburg. During the Sassol Solar Challenge, cars that run entirely on solar energy competed against each other. At each stage there were loops in the track, so that the solar cars could drive extra laps in order to increase the number of kilometers they had covered. Nine teams participated, the other seven teams came from South Africa. One of the new elements during the race through South Africa was the so-called blind stage. Normally you can plan a route from A to Z and you can determine how much energy you will use on certain parts of the course. With the blind stage you don't know the exact route in advance, so you can't come up with a strategy, says Franson. The Brunel Solar Team from Delft had developed a new engine especially for the race through South Africa, with twice as much power as the previous one. But the team ultimately decided not to use the bike. We wanted to make our secret weapon from our new engine, says Franson. However, during the development process, we were delayed, so we were unable to complete the tests required to race safely. We sometimes drive at speeds above 100 km per hour, so we have chosen not to go with the new engine to drive. The team also made improvements in other areas. For example, we have improved the solar panel and the battery. And we have practiced hard with, for example, changing the drivers. The tactics and strategy are also important, said Franson. During a race for solar cars in 2019, the car of the Delft team caught fire. No one was injured, but nothing was left of the car. The solar car team from the Delft University in the Netherlands, Brunel Solar Team has again won the Sassol Solar Challenge, following a week of battle between the team and other top solar car teams in the challenge. Brunel Solar Team, formerly known as Nune Slash Vattenfall are now four times champions of the Sassol Solar Challenge, retaining the title for four consecutive challenges. The team was in second place on day 7, yesterday, of the Sassol Solar Challenge with 590.5 km following Agoria Solar Team at first place, leading with 609.4 km. We would like to congratulate all the teams who participated in the 2022 Sassol Solar Challenge for crossing the finish line successfully. They have all done really well and showcased their engineering skills and talents to different communities across South Africa throughout the eight days, while also spreading an awareness on the importance of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education as well as sustainable transportation, said Robert Walker, owner and director of the Sassol Solar Challenge. Day 8 of the 2022 Sassol Solar Challenge finished at the Vander Waterfront. Spectators including young people were at the finish line in the afternoon, cheering for the teams as they arrived at the venue. 
Brunel Solar Team said the 2022 Sasol Solar Challenge was a great experience and gave them a real challenge with the newly incorporated blind stages and marathon stage. We are excited to have retained our title as champions of the Sasol Solar Challenge. However, this year's event was tense as we were competing among other top solar car teams. We managed to push through and work together as a team, said San Vilters, team leader. The blind stages were a real challenge but have taught us some new dimensions of solar challenge. Meanwhile, Agoria Solar Team said, as a team, we are incredibly proud of our performance. Despite all the setbacks, we managed to finish in second place in our first participation in the Sasol Solar Challenge. We certainly didn't make it easy for our fellow competitors, said Emma Stallman's team spokesperson. On local teams, Swane University of Technology Solar Team came first place, followed by the Northwest University Solar Car Team on second place. We worked very hard on our solar car the past year, and once finished, we took on a long trip to test it. We are excited that all the hard work paid off. We increased our kilometers this year and managed to secure first place for local teams, said Tut Solar Team Managers. We did encounter challenges during the eight days. The blind stages really set us behind, however, we managed to use them to our advantage, to charge our car, which has really pulled us through to the end of the event. Norzipur Mbata, senior manager. Group brand and sponsorships at Sasol said, we are proud of the teams and all that they have managed to accomplish, the dedication and hard work that they've put into building fully functioning solar cars to compete in this eight-day long Sasol Solar Challenge. We believe that through their work, and driving across the country, they have inspired young people to pursue careers in the fields of STEM. Results, kilometers, for the Solar Cars teams will be published on the 17th of September.